Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Wooden here. Today we're gonna create some bread. Wherever you click on the lake, we'll actually drop a piece of bread. So it doesn't look like the ducks are going to some invisible point. They're actually going to a piece of bread. For now, we've gotta deal with something called Z-depth. Z-depth is what is in front of something else. So let's first create bread. We'll have a get bread. And pass an apparent just like before. And bread is this new pixie sprite from image. And I've got a gigantic piece of bread I found on the internet. And we'll scale it down because it's gigantic to 10%. And we'll add the child to the parent and then return it. And then anytime we actually click the pointer down anywhere on the lake, let's go ahead and get a, a new piece of bread. Get bread. And we'll pass an app stage to add the bread to it. Bread.x equals wherever we clicked. Bread.y equals wherever we clicked. However, we don't have a place to store this at all. So let's create, just like we have a, an array for our ducks here, let's create a cons called bread slices. Now we have an array to store all pieces of bread. And we'll push the bread into it. Now when we reload our screen here. When I click, you'll see the ducks go to the bread with the bread's on top of them. It's supposed to be on the water, and the ducks are supposed to be swarming it. So this is what's called Z-depth. It's where you have a two-dimensional space, and you're drawing things on top of something else. Now, Canvas is actually flat. There is no Z-depth. There is no things in front of something else. My cursor is always in front of it. Obviously, it's on top. My browser is on top of code. But... Your monitor is actually two dimensions. The pixels are there. The software emulates this thing kind of being on top and allows you to, you know, drag it around and make it look like it's kind of on top, have that little teensy subtle drop shadow there. We have the same problem here. We need to set the Z depth. So when I click code, it comes to the foreground in front of the browser. When I click the browser, it comes to the foreground. We need the same thing with the bread to always be in the back. Well, thankfully, there is a way to manage child depth. So inside of our get bread, we'll say parent set child index and zero, which is the bottom, we'll, we'll always set it to the bottom. When we click it, ducks will go to it, but it's actually below our lake. So it's actually underwater, which is not what we wanted either. So let's create a new container that doesn't include our lake, and it's just for our bread and ducks. We can put all of our interactive things in there. So we'll say ducks and bread container. We'll say new pixie container. It's like a sprite. It's just known to add things to it. And we'll add this to the stage, ducks and bread container. When we add our ducks down below in our bread, we're gonna add our bread to the ducks and bread container. And then same thing for the duck. So its parent is now gonna be this container. And this container is actually, if you notice here, it's added after the lake. So it's on top of the lake. Now there's nothing in the container, right? It's invisible, it's not gonna draw anything. We haven't drawn a lake like we did up here. So now when we do it, these ducks, and the bread are actually gonna be on top of that. So they have a bunch of things in it, but we have a kind of a master container on top. So now we click our bread, the ducks are on top of the bread, but the bread and the ducks are both on top of the lake. That is how you deal with Z-depth inside of Pixie.js. And you can have a ton of bread. And when I click bread, it's always below the other bread because we've hard coded it to zero. But notice the ducks are always on top of the bread using the set child index functionality of a container based on how many children there are, you could put something in the front if you wanted to based on the parent num children minus one, and that would put it always on the top. We want to put it always on the bottom. Organize your children via containers. You can create a new container and put everything in it. Instead of adding everything to the stage, you put all your groups of things in a container. That way you can kind of organize where things go. Notice that on my computer, my, my cursor is on top of everything, no matter what's in the Z depth. So if you imagine that my windows that I'm using, my applications on my Mac desktop are all in one container and my cursor, right, the text cursor here, the arrow cursor here, they're in a container on top of everything. Hopefully that gives you a good uh, metaphor for how Z index works.